All right, now, this is what I want to show you. When you're looking at heads out of the box new, and, and most people miss things like this, look what we got going on here on these, uh, where the intake seats are. Look at the amount of area right there after the seat where it goes into the deck. Look over here. I mean, that's digging into it a bunch side by side. Now I want you to take a look at this side over here. This is going to blow your mind. All right. Look at that. The aluminum almost all the way is touching the seat, and look at our aluminum over here. That's that's in the casting. These are the things you look at right here that that tell about core shift. Uh, you'll see things like this inside the ports, how they move. I mean, that's just uh, <laughs> right there in the seat. And here we got this chunk of aluminum open. That's a core shift thing. All right. So anyway. I just wanted to go over that with you before I get down to what I'm fixing to show you here in a minute on the boat. Okay, we've already covered the width of the 45. We went in there and we covered the seat run out, which is horrific. But now we're into something else. Okay, these heads have been bowl blended. It looks like we're suffering from the same fate as the famous Pro Comp heads in that the bowls and where they blended it they dug in and they got they're just so much more uh, smaller than the seat all right and, and to demonstrate this how I'm going to show you is we're going to take a snap gauge and we're going to hit right here all right that's going to be our our basic bowl size this is going to be probably about an inch from the seat, right around in that area. Okay, now, look at this. All right, this is laying right there on top of it. Look here. Now, I have to move the snap and go in here to reposition it to get it. Now, if we go in here and we measure this, what we're ending up with is a 1 8 12 bowl. Now, let's come up here to where the seat is, the 45 degree seat, or this area where we can get a go, no go on the, on the seat itself. We're at 1802 at the tightest point. All right. Now we go back in here, there's our seat, we go back in here, it's 801 in the center spot. Now the problem with this is, is they went in here and they ground on the bowl and you can see some of the chatter marks where it touched the seat. What we're wanting to do is we're wanting it to come in and gradually get bigger, hit the 70, and ease out. But what we got going on is, it, it, is it's big here, then comes out and gets wider at that part of the seat, at that junction. Okay, so what it's doing is it's big, and then it squeezes down, and then let's back out again it, it, it's kind of to describe this the best way you don't want the bowl being bigger than the area of the seat where it hits uh on a street vehicle especially something it's uh or not street vehicle but something street and strip so and some of these are just way worse than the others the inconsistency is horrible all right look like right here i can't fit it in we go over here to this side look here i mean that's it, it's just from bowl from bowl to bowl see it's, it's, uh, that's not right. That's as much as 20 thousandths difference from each one to each one. Uh, 
I think a lot of this, where they went in there, if they would have left the head alone, it would have made my job a lot easier. I, I, to fix this, what I would need to do is actually go in there and put some meat in, in the bowls, weld them, actually put some of this back up. Remember in my videos what I showed you, you don't want to be able to feel nothing. Now watch this, here's my picker, look, stop, boom. I wish you could hear this. We, we, you can tell, like I said, a cylinder head that is properly blended, you can't feel a transition where it goes into this seat. With this head, you can feel the aluminum and then plain as day, feel the cast iron seat. So when I go in there and do the valve job, I'm going to have to put my uh, scribe tool back on there and I'm going to have to take a, a carbide cutter and cut the seat and pull it in and then let the aluminum roll over to it to straighten it. Uh, that's the part that, that really upset me the most. It wasn't the seat side around. It was this horse shit they did when they hand blended this and went in into the seat and made a messed up bow. I just wish you could stand here with your fingers and feel this transition but I tried to show it to you the best I could with the snap gauges like I said I mean I'm trying to hit it right there now right there was a shot where it was almost on the 45 degree C and we're at 1890 then we start to try to go back into the bow right where the start of that transition is and then finally, look, it won't even fit. It starts to snug up right there. Okay. So anyway, that's the things I saw right out of the box that needed to be corrected with the head. Now we're on to the last thing. But what I'm fixing to show you next ain't really a deal about Elderbrock. It's any of the heads that have a CNC port match is what I'm calling it. I'm going to show you this last thing.